Hey guys, this is Max Headspace 9mm, and I'm heading out to one of my favorite shooting spots. And I thought I would give you a few more thoughts from the driver's seat. You know, um, today, Eric Swalwell uh, decided to stop running for the Democratic nomination. And I think that's a pretty good idea, actually. He uh, apparently is uh, from California, California lawmaker. And the thing about him that was his main platform was he wanted to remove assault weapons from uh, public ownership in America. He had this plan about that. And I got to tell you something. The more I think about Democrats and their hatred for firearms, um, the more I realize that I kind of feel sorry for them. Their logic is based on emotions and ignorance alone. The statistics back up the conservative viewpoint that firearms in the hands of responsible citizens are incredibly safe. If you look at all the statistics that they give about how many people die from firearms, these scary assault weapons that they're so afraid of, it's a very, very small percentage of all the firearms. But not only that, the fact that they think that they can take away um, millions of, of rifles that are in this category of assault weapons, uh, the fact that they think that this poses a real threat is backwards logic. If you actually stop and think about it, his own statistics show his ignorance. I think he said there's something like 1.5 million assault weapons in America, or maybe it was 15 million even more so. Okay, let's just say there's 1.5, the small end of the spectrum. I'm not sure I'm remembering his uh, statistics correctly because I think I don't listen to them very much because everything they think of is skewed. But we'll assume on the small end of the scale that it's 1.5 million assault weapons. And I'm pretty sure it's a lot more than that. So if you stop and think about how few mass murderers are committed with those things and how few people actually die as citizens in America from people wielding weapons in the category of assault weapons, it's incredibly small. And if you stop and think about the number of responsible U.S. citizens that have firearms and the number of firearms in this country, it is incredible to me how responsible citizens really are and how few people actually die through negligent discharges or accidental discharges or as an intentional result of homicide. You know, if you look at the statistics, it's just amazing. We could do a lot better by eliminating gun-free zones. A gun-free zone is a very backward solution. It doesn't fix anything, it just invites somebody to attack people that are unarmed. So we've got to stop the mindset of putting responsible citizens in the category of criminals simply by ownership of a firearm that they deem as an assault weapon. It's not fair, it's not right, it's backward logic, and it's based on fear and ignorance. They are not going to look at this solution from any other standpoint than fear and ignorance. And that is going to skew their viewpoint of everything that they judge statistically. And unfortunately, they're the ones who are coming up with all the solutions. I think that we need to find new ways of addressing this issue. And I think that we need to fight as the gun community just as hard for the abolition of gun-free zones. As a concealed carrier and somebody who has a responsible set of behavior standards for the way I live my life, they have nothing to fear from me. I have never given them any reason to believe that I'm gonna just whip out my gun and start blowing people away. There's nothing in my pattern of behavior that gives them any reason to think that I would be capable of doing something like that, other than the fact that I carry a firearm. So for them to blame me for the actions of criminals is irrational and based on a fear logic. 
I've had enough uh, interaction, I've had enough exposure to the criminal justice system to know that a person's past behavior is one of the clearest signs of their future behavior. And criminals, felons, are not allowed to have firearms. If they have firearms, they are probably going to get them illegally and own them illegally. If we just enforce the laws we have, we will not have the problems that we've been having. They are trying to deflect and uh, distract. The truth of the matter is, lawmakers are interested in blaming gun owners because lawmakers are at fault. Lawmakers and their lack of creating laws that are enforceable is the reason we have mass homicides in this country. They are trying to deflect and push the blame onto somebody else other than themselves. We've got to stand up and call them on this and make sure people realize that is what's going on here. If, if they would make laws that could be enforced, a lot of these problems would solve themselves, but they can't. Every idea they come up with only hamstrings law-abiding citizens. It does not stop criminals because criminals don't care about obeying laws. So we got to be just as vigilant as they are. We've got to be just as loud and as strong in our opinion as they are. And don't forget, they do not have the ability to usurp our constitutional rights. They may talk a lot about it, and when the Democratic uh, uh, debates come up, they're going to keep bringing this up. They're going to keep on acting like they can just, on their first day in office, create some executive order and start rounding up assault weapons. They can't do it. They cannot do it. They're not able. But they do have words on their side, and they can threaten. And, as we've seen in the past with Obama, threats really do carry a lot of weight. They make a lot of gun owners scared, and a lot of gun owners all of a sudden start hoarding ammo and buying up assault rifles. So I'm going to encourage everybody, everybody within the sound of my voice, keep a clear head as we go into this election cycle. Do not get scared of what they're saying, of what they claim they can do that they really have no authority to do and realize they're just trying to divert the attention from themselves and their failed policies and throw them on to law-abiding gun owners. This is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.